Boom! What's good, my people? We are back again for another vibrations here on this set of one and only Mystelix Vlogs. Welcome to our Mystelix Vlogs. What's good, my people? We are definitely back again. This is where I tend to get my views on a number of things taking place where in Dominican the Caribbean and the rest of the world by extension. This one pretty much has to do with that as what of what is taking place or has taken place in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, guys. And of course, if you have not seen it, this is a bit of a snippet of it right there. <laughs> Somebody just bust the Prime Minister head with a stone. Somebody just hit the Prime Minister in his head with a stone. I don't know if you saw it, guys, on the live, but his head is bleeding. He just walked through the crowd. It was very much indeed evident enough to see that the Prime Minister had got a blokey from somebody flinging a stone as if they were David and Goliath in the process. And the Prime Minister of course was not too happy about that. Of course. <laughs> and the reason why this is because the Prime Minister decided he wanted to pass a law or some sort of amendment that would cause the individuals who are doctors, nurses, people in the frontline environment or individuals who have been part of the tourism sector, or tourism sector to then take this injection. And on the basis that people are understanding that this thing is not approved, neither is it licensed. And you'll understand what I'm saying in this regard in just a moment. Okay, guys, there's more to that situation right there. seems like people were very much happy about the Prime Minister's head getting blokey because it seemed like they were having a party in front of the Parliament, the St. Vincent Parliament it seems. <laughs> the brother was trying to enter inside and he came out from his vehicle trying to enter because he couldn't pass through and I guess he got a bus head in the process and that's what happened. Not only that though guys but afterwards there was a truck that actually came and I think the truck was trying to enter into the crowd and the crowd was not having that at all brothers and sisters at all. <laughs>
of St. Vincent was like, not today, Satan, not today. Maybe some other time when we bring you to do something for us and we vote for you, you have to do something that is by the people, not by your choice. Which is very evident, as we have also brought in the nurse association that also has something to say as well. They say they are condemning the very action and strongly opposing it, guys. They are opposing the proposed amendment to the Public Health Act that will adversely affect the fundamental rights and freedom of our nurses and the entire Vincentiant population, guys. Society actually received a video on the whole understanding of HIPAA, guys, telling you that individuals, whether you take injections or not, this is your health medical records that you're revealing to individuals. Hey, this is what I have in my body. It should actually be private. Nobody should know these things. The government should not know these things. The only person who's supposed to know these things is your health um, practitioner, your, your doctor. These individuals are the only set of people. You know, supposed to be carrying your card and say, Hey guys, this is what I have inside my body, or I don't have inside my body. Nobody is supposed to know it's not their business to know what you have inside your body. And they're trying to make it a mandatory thing so that you'll actually have your card to show, Hey, this is what I'm... This is against HIPAA. This is against our own health privacy, man. What are these guys doing? What are these guys doing? Don't they think properly? For those of you who don't know, guys, this is an experimental thing, okay? I want you guys to listen to your very own St. Vincent and Grenadine's personnel right there. Take a listen to what she has to say. Hello again. It's Anissa Batiste, Associate Director for the Thusian Institute for Religious Liberty Incorporated of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I'm here with another fact for you concerning the so-called virus fact. By the way, guys, I'm sorry, but I had to actually mute the very words so that YouTube doesn't pick them up right there. When they pick them up and they do like what you're saying, they tend to flag your video, they tend to do whatever they want. So if you notice, you notice a lot of silence within the V word and the C word. and the, So you'll notice a lot of silence happening. So anyways, let's continue. Things are not like childhood. They are emergency use authorized medical products only. Despite this, governments in the region have been saying to their people that if they wanted to, they could mandate. We even have legal professors from universities saying the same, and they base it on the claim that it's just like a childhood vaccine. You had to take them to enter into school. They're legal on the schedule. So what's the problem? Well, and not like childhood vaccines. Let's take a look at the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. On their website, there's a letter dated May the 10th, 2021, written to Pfizer-BioNTech when they were seeking an EUA emergency use authorization for their to be used in 12-year-olds and older. This letter is signed by Chief Scientist of the FDA, Denise M. Hinton, and it warns Pfizer under the topic conditions related to printed matter advertising and promotion. I quote, all descriptive printed matter, advertising and promotional material relating to the use of Pfizer-BioNTech clearly and conspicuously shall state that this product has not been approved or licensed by FDA, but has been authorized for emergency use by FDA under an EUA. At the end of another paragraph, the letter states, and I quote, it is an investigational not licensed for any indication. The FDA clearly warns Pfizer, when you're advertising, be sure to tell the people. It is not approved, not licensed by the FDA, only authorized for emergency use. It is an investigational what about the CDC? In August 2020, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention of the United States published a meeting of the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, where its Executive Secretary, Dr. Amanda Cohn, said the following, I quote, I just wanted to add that, just wanted to remind everybody that under an emergency use authorization, an EUA, things are not allowed to be mandatory. So early in this phase individuals will have to be consented and they won't be able to be mandated end of quote did you hear that oh governments of the region in the caribbean you cannot mandate it you have to get their consent because you know why under the federal law it is the federal food drug and cosmetic act eua products are required to be offered to people with certain information individuals to whom they're offered are to be informed of certain facts and i quote one very important one Quote, they're to be informed, quote, of the option to accept or refuse administration of the product. End of quote. Did you hear that? You have the right to refuse an EUA medical product under federal law. No government can legally mandate it. 
in that status these are the facts so it's very much simple to understand guys one it is not approved it is only approved for emergency use only not for healthy people to go and take nothing like i remember an individual stating from washington he stated that you can wear your mask you can put on your mask whole day wait whole day but once you take this injection you cannot take it out and the reason for that it is because it's an experimental thing you don't know how it's gonna affect you and not only that though, guys they give the companies them immunity so if anything has to happen to you your family can sue them this is what i'm telling individuals out there if your business decide, hey, we're taking you, firing you, and there's a letter I saw of somebody being let go because of that thing, lady, whoever you are, take that letter and bring it to court. Bring it to court because this, whatever is happening in St. Vincent or across the Caribbean or wherever, this is in total contradiction to human rights and regulations, brothers and sisters. You have to understand these things. So it is not approved. It's only approved for emergency use only. It is not licensed. Like I said before, it's only um, there for emergency use only. They literally put only in there and they tell them the pharmaceutical companies to make sure that they tell individuals that it is not approved and they have not in the caribbean though in the united states when people are going to take the injections and guys you can take one take your injection no doubt about it. take your injection if you take your injection but it must be from your consent it mustn't be forced nobody must try to give you millions of dollars for you to do nothing stop your dirty ways it must be from your consent this is treating by brain treating that there hey let's take a lottery for a million dollars you have to take the, the injection for you to get that. That is not right at all. It's not approved. It's not licensed for emergency use only. And it's just an experimental thing, brothers and sisters. They have to experiment on individuals from their consent. And then once they see it's doing well or whatever, then they can um, continue to. By the way, for this thing to get approved, it should be in no less than three years. So yes, guys, take your injections you have to, if you have to take your injections. However, it must be from your consent without any sort of influence in this regard and when businesses are telling you that you need to get the injection for you to continue your work you can take these businesses to court because this is infringing on your human rights on your human health rights and that is very much important right there what are your thoughts on the whole situation guys this is just my views on this and of course this is a lady right there she broke it down very nicely i love her for that and of course guys it's important for the people to be informed the great book i must say the great book that said the very thing right there my people perish because of a lack of knowledge a number of persons have taken this thing and regretting right now because of the effects that it has on them even in dominica as well look at trinidad trinidad has admit hey let me don't even go too far <laughs> but it's pretty much out there guys it is us it's up to us for us to understand hey this is an experimental thing if it's an experimental thing then okay I will decide to be part of that experiment. It must be from your consent, of course, and make sure you are properly informed before you get into something. They cannot force this. You can take these people to... I'm telling you. Ah, I wish I was in the 95 way. <laughs> I would make some money, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Anyways, guys, with all that said, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you understand it. And of course, definitely subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get all of the news as they tend to come through. So, boy, Mr. this once again, guys. Be real! Tell you, we kid at people there. Including the, the people who are supposed to be protecting the people. That is what all you're doing with it. Be real, guys. Be positive. And with the most high as always, definitely stick with us. Welcome to Amis Felix Vlogs. One day I will blow. Wow! This life is a constant uphill battle, but it's also filled with some beautiful moments.